This is my final synthesis reflection for INST 723 by Ashley Reisinger. The objective of this project was to mentor fellow teachers by assisting them with specific technological tools that could be integrated into their curriculum for their specific learners. I believe I achieved this objective. Steps taken to accomplish the objective. The first step was to get to know the mentees. If you're going to be collaborating with other people, it's good to get to know them first. I did this by looking at the introductions in Piazza. Next, I looked at the learner analysis so I would know who the specific students were that I would be designing for. I looked at the posts in Piazza that Labriska and Jonathan both put. Labriska has a separate setting uh, EC class with students who are struggling readers and Jonathan has a fifth grade class that is contained and he was focusing on math skills. After that, I looked at the specific goals. As I said, Jonathan was working on specific math, school, math goals. He was looking at volume, measurements, and converting measurements. I also looked at Labriska's. Hers were more centered around reading goals, specifically long and short vowels and the difference between them. These goals helped me know what I was looking for as far as curriculum resources, which is my next step to research instructional materials. So I looked online by searching specific keywords. Uh, I looked at measurements, conversion, volume for Jonathan. I found a lot of math resources online that he could use. Through the learner analysis, I also was able to see what types of technology Labriska and Jonathan would have in their classroom. So I also tried to find materials that worked with what they had in their classroom. Labriska, I searched for long and short vowel lessons that would help with those specific skills. After I shared these instructional materials, I collaborated with my mentees uh, about how to integrate these technology tools and help design the actual lessons. We communicated on what lesson materials were helpful, what if they needed any additional materials, and how specifically to organize the lessons incorporating these technology tools. Then I followed up uh, by talking to Lubriska and Jonathan about how the lessons went, if they would have any changes, add any changes to the lessons, anything that they thought would have been more helpful for me, um, and I was able to evaluate how effective the lesson materials were with their teaching. Throughout this process, there were several challenges that I had to overcome and find solutions for. The first was communication and finding a common collaborative time. Uh, at first, we began to communicate through Piazza and thought it would be a lot easier to communicate a lot of information by talking through Skype. The problem with Skype was we had to find a time where we were both on Skype at the same time. So sometimes we would use Skype, sometimes um, when Skype was not the most effective way due to scheduling conflicts, we would email each other. So we used several different forms of communication um, to collaborate on this through this process. Um, when specific types of communication didn't work, such as Piazza, we moved on to something else that let us work with our own individual schedules. Um, something challenging for me was a uh, different content than what I'm used to usually teaching. I haven't really taught math math lessons before, so this new content was a little different um, to find resources for since I don't have any experience with it. So I was able to um, find a solution to that challenge. It just took a lot more time researching for those specific lessons. The new Common Core was also a challenge, I think, for everyone on the team because it is a new curriculum. But I think once we got used to the specific goals and felt more comfortable with them, we were able to find uh, lessons that would cater to those specific goals. 
Um, there also were a few technology resources that Jonathan and Labriska shared with me. They, uh, Labriska had computers in her room and Jonathan had a lab at his school. Um, but later on, something that was a challenge was there was a bit of misinformation. Um, I found out that Jonathan has an Elmo, Labriska has a projector, and they didn't really share those technologies with me, probably because they didn't think they were that important, or maybe I should have assumed they had them. Um, so had I known that beforehand, I think I would have added a few more resources and things um, to my lesson ideas. Here's my specific reflection on working with Labriska. Um, we had good communication. We um, had a long conversation on Skype. Um, and we communicated through email and Piazza, and I feel like we both were available to talk to each other when we needed to. Um, Labriska um, was willing to uh, get help with technology. She was um, really good about asking questions, about um, being flexible with my ideas and working with me. Um, so we had a really good collaboration. Um, I provided her with new resources, um, such as Audacity, even though she didn't use it in this lesson. Um, she felt like Audacity would be a program that would be helpful for future lessons. So I think I helped her, um, not just with this lesson, but in the future as well. Um, and then I gave her a couple assessment suggestions. I suggested she do a ticket out the door so that she could um, assess how the students did during their individual stations and she wouldn't be working with them one on one. And I think that was something that um, she found really helpful in her lesson and gave her really important evaluation information. She also gave me resources as well. She um, suggested a reading program um, that she uses at her school that I'm planning on um, looking further into. So that was helpful to gain or resources from her. And she gave me really positive feedback about um, the collaboration. She said this is one of the best collaborations she's had in a class. She felt we worked really well together. She shared some of the lessons I gave her with some of her colleagues and some resources that they plan on using as well. So overall, it was a really good um, collaboration with Labriska. I feel like working with Jonathan was a really good experience as well. Um, it was a little different than with Labriska. Um, we communicated the same ways. We um, communicated through Piazza and we had conversations on Skype. Um, when our schedules were conflicting, we used email as a way to communicate. Um, so we had the same communication. However, I felt like Jonathan was a lot more comfortable using technology and didn't need my leadership as much as Labriska did. Um, I felt like he knew resources that worked well with the skills he was trying to teach. And so um, I wasn't as much involved in the leadership as I was with working with Labriska. Um, the researching the unfamiliar content um, was a bit of a struggle with Jonathan. Um, I had to spend a lot more time looking for resources that I thought would be helpful for him. And then one of the resources was the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives, which Jonathan felt was a really helpful resource. Um, had a lot of really good um, engaging websites and activities that his students could work with. However, we had trouble with technology and he was unable to open some of those websites at school. Um, and because I couldn't actually go to the school and help him troubleshoot with that, um, he wasn't able to use the technology that I had provided. So it was a little frustrating having these lessons and activities he was excited about, but then I couldn't help troubleshoot um, and fix those problems. Um, I think if I was to do it again and work with Jonathan again, I would have also focused on adding assessments to his lesson um, to evaluate if the lessons were successful or not. I think that's one step that I think we didn't focus on as much, focus more on the teaching rather than um, the assessment, which is a really critical part. Um, of the design. So if I were to do it again, I would add an assessment component to that as well. 
So overall, what difference did I make in the lessons? I feel like I provided a lot of really good resources that Labriska and Jonathan both plan on using if they did not use during this lesson. And I think that's a big part of instructional design is having the time to search for those resources, whereas teachers don't always have that time to search for the resources. They want to use them, but they don't always have time to do the searching part. And so I feel like I provided that really important step. I think I also assisted with the full-on lesson organization, um, how to um, kind of structure using the technology and how to successfully incorporate it. Um, for example, I gave Labriska a su suggestion about how to have the websites easily available to the students by putting a link on her website so they wouldn't have to type in the website and it would make it easier and faster for her to go to those lessons. I feel like I could really relate um, this whole process to the charades activity we did in class. I definitely played the role of the leader, um, giving, providing instructional materials and um, leading communication and steps to completing the whole process. But I also played the role of the guesser. Um, I had a lot of information about the students they were working with and the technology and I wasn't always given those clues in the order I would want them and so I had to kind of put a lot of the information pieces I was given together to look at the full big picture. Um, both sides just like in charades were working toward a common objective and I feel like we both worked well together and listened to each other um, throughout this process. Overall, I felt like this um, experience was really helpful and informative. Um, it, I thought of the six characteristics of instructional design throughout this process, made it student-oriented, goal-oriented. Um, I think I could have focused a little more on the assessment um, component of it, um, especially for Jonathan. Um, but overall, the six characteristics of instructional design I kind of thought out throughout the process. Um, it was my first experience as an instructional designer, and I think it's a lot more beneficial to actually put yourself in the role. I've been talking about instructional design in my classes for the last year, but I think this is the first time I really could put everything together when I actually was put into the role of instructional designer. Um, I felt it was easier to collaborate with some people. Um, it was easier with Labriska, I think, because she had lots of questions and needed help, whereas Jonathan was a little more um, independent and didn't need my leadership as much as my collaboration. Um, I think a face-to-face -face experience in instructional design would be interesting to um, experience as well. Um, I never really worked with Labriska or Jonathan face-to-face, -face, and so I think it would be interesting to have a work environment where you have all of the people you're working with, um, maybe in one setting at some point. Um, so that would be interesting in the future to experience. I think having um, anonymous feedback would also be really helpful to um, gauge how I did as an instructional designer. Um, Labriska gave me really positive feedback and Jonathan um, gave me good feedback as well. But I think, I wonder if I would have gained any more tips um, if it had been anonymous. Um, overall, I think this was a really good experience. I feel like we met our objectives, we collaborated well together, um, and we created some lessons with some um, engaging and interesting technology.